Hey friends, Ash here with Chin Sense. Hope everybody out there is doing really well. Hope you've had a great day or a great evening. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a fragrance that is a pretty good alternative to really popular compliment pulling fragrance out there. And you probably already know which fragrance it is that I'm talking about, but we'll get into that more as the video goes on. Fragrance is this one, Abercrombie & Fitch, First Instinct Together. The First Instinct line by Abercrombie & Fitch is pretty well known. It's gotten a good amount of hype here and there with some of the different fragrances in the line. And a big reason for that is because they're easily found at TJ Maxx, Ross's, and Marshall's all across the United States, typically for a price around 25 bucks and less. You can also find them at discounters all over the place, basically any discounter. Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, doesn't really matter. They all have the First Instinct line. Now, this one is the newest flanker. So as of this video, I don't think that this is at any of the big discounters yet, but it will be. This bottle right here, I actually found at my local TJ Maxx, and I think it was $19.99. So 20 bucks, really cheap. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the presentation a little more in depth and also break this one down and let you know how it smells and let you know whether or not you should check it out. So let's jump into this. All right, guys, let's start this off with the presentation. You've got here the name of the house and then the size and concentration right here on the front. You don't have the name of the fragrance that is here on the side, first instinct together, and then nothing on this side. This big notch right here in the box, I did that right before I turned the cameras on. I dropped the box from maybe four feet, and uh, yeah, dinged it up, but the bottle's fine, so presentation works. And then on the bottom, you have the batch code JJ27. It's written in ink. And here is your bottle. This is done in the typical first instinct bottle style. It has kind of this waved pattern to the glass, which actually looks pretty nice. And I do enjoy the gradient on this one with the darker blue at the bottom going lighter toward the top. Again, on the side of the bottle, you got the name of the fragrance. And then on the bottom, you have your sticker and your badge code again in black ink. The cap does click into place, but not really securely. Don't pick this bottle up by the cap. I know most of you don't, but some people do. Definitely don't do that with this one where it will come undone. Just like uh, Rivers Cuomo's sweater. Some of you out there got that. Some of you didn't, that's okay. Let's go ahead and waste a spray so you can see how this one works. Pretty good and you can also tell that the wind is going in that direction. First instinct together. As soon as you spray this one on, the second you spray it on, you know exactly what Abercrombie & Fitch has done here. Like Mont Blanc Legend looked at the success of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce and took that and was inspired by that to make something that would sell really well for themselves, now Abercrombie & Fitch has done that with a Paco Rabanne fragrance. Yes, Invictus. More clearly or closely though, Invictus Aqua. And I mean, really look at the bottle coloration there. They really didn't care all that much about hiding what they were doing, did they? Yeah, first instinct together, you can tell right away, very, very Invictus-y. They are not trying to hide it. They do not care. They are kind of advertising it almost, again, with that coloration of the bottle. And when you smell it, it's super apparent. So if you hate Invictus. If you hate Invictus inspired fragrances, get your rage cap on and just add this to the pile of Invictus E bubblegummy type scents. That's what this is. Pineapple is one of the top notes here. And off a tester strip, you do get a little more pineapple off skin though, not a whole lot. Uh, I don't really pull too much pineapple off of my skin. Uh, maybe slightly in the air when you first spray it on, you get this little waft of a kind of exotic smelling fruitiness, but it's gone pretty quickly. And like I said, off my skin, I don't get much at all. I do get though apple and grapefruit off the top. Like I said before, kind of in that bubble gummy sweetness kind of way. 
I also get a modern, clean, woodsy feel to the scent. Uh, kind of ambroxan, really, <laughs> is how it comes across. Like a modern, clean, woody fragrance with ambroxan and some muskiness, and then that bubblegummy sweet apple and grapefruit. Then into the mid, there's a little bit of powder off my skin. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. And that sweetness carries over from the opening into the mid. And it does smell very clean and very fresh in the mid as well. And helping with that clean, fresh feeling is lavender in the mid of the fragrance. Doesn't smell like a super realistic lavender or anything like that. And again, it's on the sweeter side of things, but it really works well for this type of scent and it works well here. And into the dry down, it gets a little bit woodier. You get some sandalwood in there and it does maintain that sort of modern fresh woodiness from the opening and still has that similarity to Invictus too. That never really goes away. Invictus strikes again. <laughs> I can just imagine somebody on their keyboard saying that right now. Invictus again. I'll tell you one thing, Invictus gets around. That Invictus DNA is just, it's everywhere. Invictus just, that's all I'm saying, gets around. Now, all that aside, this fragrance is not expensive. Like I said, 20 bucks for this. Once this goes to discounters, it's gonna be like the other fragrances in the line. It's not gonna cost all that much money. And for what this is trying to do, which is pull attention and pull compliments and be a youthful kind of versatile fragrance, it does well. So essentially, this right here, First Instinct Together, is like Pacaraban Invictus or Invictus Aqua on a budget. That's what it is. And it does that really, really well. And the Invictus line does cater really, really heavily to people that are just looking for that versatility looking for those compliments and especially younger guys who really like that bubblegummy sweetness in their fragrance. This does that. So really, if you're looking for a fragrance in that style, in that vein, that's going to accomplish those things and accomplish them really well, and you see this, go ahead and scoop it up. If you don't see it, wait just a little bit. It'll be at discounters and then scoop it up. Let me know in the comments below which Invictus inspired by fragrance is your personal favorite if you have one because there are a lot of them out there and the list just keeps on growing one thing with this fragrance though that is not quite there is the performance invictus and invictus aqua both have better performance than this one off my skin five hours maybe six of longevity projection i would say moderate that's me being a little a little nice toward the fragrance but we'll say moderate best in the first hour and it sits closer to the skin of course you could always spray on clothes that's going to help with the longevity or you could spray really heavily and just not care at all that should help improve your performance as well in terms of seasons more spring and summer for me it does have versatility so you could use it year-round if you really like it but it is more of a spring and summer fragrance it does lean more of a daytime scent for me but again because of how easily worn the fragrance is, it's gonna work during the evening as well. And as far as situations, casual, it is safe to the office, and date situations. I know it's a super simple way to boil this down, but essentially, if you want an Invictus Aqua or Invictus style fragrance, an alternative to those scents, that's gonna cost you less than half of what the Paco Rabanne does, this one, is a really nice alternative. It is from a house that everybody knows, a brand everybody knows, Abercrombie & Fitch. So it's not gonna look maybe out of place to somebody who doesn't know fragrances all that well. It smells good. It's gonna get you attention. It is more youthful. It does have a bubblegummy vibe. And it is, like I've said a few times, another offspring of Invictus. I'm not personally a huge fan of the Invictus line, but if I had to pick one, Invictus Hawk was my favorite. So with all that said, for the price, I think this is really good. Again, we're talking about a 20 spot that I paid for this. That price, this is really good stuff. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me for this one, First Instinct, together. If you've smelled this, let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all of your support. 
stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.